Yo, what is going on boys and welcome back to the channel once again today where we are going to be pumping out with some 3.0 expo Now, unfortunately, we don't have we don't have a second evo, but we do have our evo knight So we're gonna be destroying with it. I'm proving you don't need two evos boys We're gonna climb just as easy with just the one evo, you know, that's all you really need boys So let's go for our log here, and I know that we've gotten quite aggressive with this But you know whenever he goes for a six an extra card in the back first play you, you gotta you gotta seize the opportunity boys You gotta take the tower when you can and we're going to take his tower nice and easily here And I'll just go for those skeletons on top of him just to clean it up You know get rid of that a little bit quicker save ourselves a little bit of damage and there we go One tower gone a thousand damage taken and this is only 45 seconds in that's just that easy boys Expo is still here, and Expo will always be here, and I mean, everyone hates it, well, well, not everyone, you know, there's, it's a very polarizing card, you know, some people love it, some people hate it, but nonetheless, I think, I think I'd see it the same, more people dislike playing against Expo than like playing against it, and this is exactly why, I don't even think it's the offensive reasons, I think people don't really mind the offense too much, like, it's annoying, yeah, but whenever, like, all I need to do now, I'll say, I'll try not to, because that's so boring, but if I wasn't trying to make a video for you guys, I could literally just play defensive expos for the next minute 40 seconds and I would win the game no problem Now we'll not do that because we're not that bad. You know, I'm, I'm bad. I'm a bit of a, a dodgy player, but you know I'm not that bad boys. I won't I won't ruin this per Javis's day that badly because that would be that wouldn't be very fun for me or him but <laughs> yeah, so that's the exact reason why people hate this deck and Expo will always be a part of this. Now, this I think 3.0 Expo is one of the best Expo decks you can play in the game. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think. You know, a lot of the decks with the Evo Bomber, can it be faster, might be considered slightly better. I don't have the Evo Bomber, so I can't give too much of an opinion on that. But, nonetheless, boys, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a strong deck, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna find it with 3.0 Expo. But, you know, don't play it, because that will just ruin my day, and a lot of other people's days, and, you know, well, maybe, maybe some people love to do that. Okay, let's go for Expo here, that's a way too heavy commitment, and we'll just go for the Evil Knight in front. We need to get rid of these skeletons right now, and lock on the tower, and we do it, and that should be... No, it won't be, he's gonna, he's gonna put up a fight, boys, he's coming back for it. Oh, he, him having the two Evos here might be a bit dodgy for us, you know. It's, it's not it's not great, you know, but we have we got the archers coming in clutch. Um let's go for a skeletons here, try and keep our archers alive. And then we're gonna go for an expo here again in front. We're gonna keep the archers up as well, so that's just gonna be extra defense. We'll go for the Tesla, it doesn't really matter at this point. You know, we we kinda have this game in the bag unless something goes drastically wrong, but I don't even think there's enough time for that to happen. And that will be it for game number one, boys. Let's hop straight into game number two. And we are back for game number two, boys, and honestly. The same people with Dire Duchess now, whenever you have Expo, isn't even a bad thing because they don't even really cross the bridge, so it's like, it's really chill. And honestly, that might be one of the reasons why people just like Dire du or like Expo so much, um, I, you know, in the current meta. Um, I, obviously, I couldn't make up any excuses for them back in the day. But now, you know, whenever there's no Dire, du Dire Duchess is an issue, it's, it's quite nice, you know, it's actually... You don't even need to worry about the fact that you can send Hog Rider and they don't even need to defend it because... Dagger Dutch is that. What is this? Are you joking? I'm gonna go Expo opposite lane. Just see what he does. And I honestly am half doing it just so he can't supply you know his um, E Golem with a massive backup attack. And he seems to just be like ready to fully just ignore it. I'm gonna go for the Archer in the center to hopefully get rid of this uh, mini pack before it gets a hit. Don't manage to do it though, unfortunately. And I'm gonna be get. I'm going to get majorly punished here, I think, um, which isn't going to be ideal, and of course, the um, the firecracker manages to dodge my dodge my log, which is going to save him a lot, but anyways, nonetheless, we should defend us, still keeping the damage lead, and a significant one at that, and then we can just push in with a big counter attack here on this side, you know, we have enough damage up to the left to the point where I'm not really so worried about it anymore, we'll back this up with the archers, hopefully just get this down um, before... It can get any major damage done, and nice. We should get a massive elixir um, injection here, and then oh no, we're gonna we might lose our tower, boys. We very well might. We will go for the log here, and that should attack all of them, and they even get the golemites and it or e golemites. What are they called? I'm assuming they're just called golemites as well. And then we'll back up our knight here with the expo. This should get a lock on. I can't see a world where he has elixir, and um, he shouldn't. Well, he's gonna have enough of that. And then we, we just take that right out, actually. That's really nice. I didn't even need to go for the Ice Spirit. A bit of a waste for me. But nonetheless, we should take the right tower near enough here. And then we should be able to just, like, I think, honestly, just double Fireball on the left. And that will be tower gone. Now, we'll go for Archers here. 
And I'm going to go for the knight on top of this as well. He's going to go for the arrows for whatever reason. He's feeling a bit quirky. Um, let's go for a defensive expert here to get rid of all this. And we'll go... That should get king tower as well, which will be even nicer for us. Let's go for the, um, the skeletons plus the ice spirit here. And then we'll go for archers in the center. Nice. We'll go for the knight here to keep that distracted. And then we'll go for our Tesla down... Our Tesla up high. You know, we don't need to go for it down low. Now, I'm going to start fireballing here because I do not want to lose this game because I forget to go in for my spells. And that's exactly why, because I thought that might have done enough to leave me at a point where I could just go for the log, but it doesn't even. So I have to go for another fireball, and then all we need to do is start fireball second the other side. And hopefully we can take this pretty easily. He's going to go in for his arrows here, I think. Now, we're going to go for the expo opposite lane. He's going to go arrows, waste a bit of elixir. And then we just go for our archers here. We'll go for the knight in front as well. Really, really nice. The X was going to retarget onto his Valkyrie, and we should take tower here. I don't see a world where we don't, and that will be it. Game two over and out. And yes, guys, we are back for the third and final game against Enrique after two dominant wins. Played two pretty random decks. That last guy, I don't know what. That last guy was the guy that had the Mega Knight as well, didn't he? Because he just played it once and never touched it again, which now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why. Because his Mega Knight would have been a real, a real farce for my expo, but he didn't go for it, and I, I'll accept that because. You know, it would just be in my life a li that little bit easier. Now, we'll have to go Fireball here, and I don't really know what else to do. Probably a really bad decision. I just, that was a bit of a random interaction. Um, so I'm assuming we're playing against some kind of weird Lava Loon deck here. That was a pretty bad Fireball for me. I'll take I'll put my hands up, boys, you know. Don't do do not do it. Don't do that if you're if you're watching this. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, I could have definitely went for a Tesla and made this some kind of way better. Let's just go for a Knight here. and uh, Knight plus Ice Spirit should clean that up. And we'll go for the arrows here or the archers here in the center. Just to make sure that that doesn't do any funny business and just jump onto her tower. Because it definitely would have killed her Knight. Okay, off to a pretty solid start. I can't even complain about this. And we have another Dagger Duchess player who's uh, playing at under level. I mean, it's only level 13. It's not really that big a difference. Honestly, level 13 Dagger Duchess definitely is better than level 14 Princess Tower. Especially um, in this condition. Well, no, not now, obviously, because it just has less HP. Against Expo, but against any other deck, I would recommend you know, if you have the level 13 Duchess, do use it. But um, since the nerf, you know, with the losing a bit of HP, it makes it a little bit of a nicer matchup for us. Um, beforehand it would have been really annoying you know it's just it just wasn't fun and it was more or less you can't it doesn't even matter if you outplayed your opponent because they had a better king tower uh, or queen tower or princess tower i don't know what it's called so tough luck and um, so we'll go for the knight here because he's gonna go okay what is this <laughs> what are these these mid ladder players at <laughs> This is why I tried to push up a bit earlier in the early season, a bit um, more in the early season. Because you, you don't have to deal with this. Why are people just going Expo, or not Expo, um, Mega Knight? Like, what a, what a random deck. Balloons, Skeleton, Dragons, Mega Knight. <laughs> like, I kind of respect it, but, like, come on. Uh, let's get a good, like, well-timed Fireball going here, hopefully. Keep the Tesla alive. And then, I'm going to go for a Knight here in the back. I go for my Archers here, actually, and then I go for the Expo as well. He's going to go for an log bit of a weird log but anyways we get this going he's gonna go for a mega knight obviously and um, so we can hopefully try and get this going as get down as soon as possible placing everything in front of our tesla keep the tesla alive that gets absolutely melted honestly i can't believe that and um, let's go for the archers here as well take out the evil bats and now we're on tower all we need to do is throw down every card we have you know just everything but the kitchen sink is coming at this guy and he's, he's getting desperate boys he's getting very desperate and we will take full advantage of it let's go for another expo here and we'll see what he wants to do before we place anything he's gonna go for another mega knight obviously what else would he do um and now i think we just need to kind of defend this out go for our fireballs see what we can do you know whenever he does have mega knight he is balloon you never really want to mess around too much against balloon balloons are just an awkward card but We'll go for, and that's going to be free value for us, considering that he knows he's in like two two expo or two fireball ranges. That's outrageous from him. Um, but let's go for the Tesla over here on the right side. Sometimes it's good to make that, that's the right play to make. Sometimes it's not, you know, you got to really evaluate what you've got going on. And we managed to defend that, all we're going to take is the balloon damage. We'll go for fireball here, we'll activate the king tower just for the BM. And I think that will be game over, and yes it will boys, 3 and 0. Oh. And yes guys, this is the deck that we did run for today's video. And as you see, we only have one Evo going in, and we still dominated all three games. Now, I'll admit, some random decks in, but I mean, I feel like they're a lot of like, 
a lot of the decks you come against coming up them mid ladders, which I'm sure a lot of people are kind of, are kind of making their way through right now, are going to be similar to that. You know, you just have a, a, a pretty okay deck, and then they just, bow Mega Knight on your head, on your forehead, just dropping in on you. And that's the way mid ladder is. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand the pain of it as well. But anyways, guys, if you are new, do be sure to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.